Ladies and gentlemen, please go wild and crazy and welcome to the stage, Manuel Trujillo. She did very well with my name, did she? With a lovely yo yo. <laughs> Sorry, I had to fucking do it. <laughs> I haven't started it. Can you kind of hold my guitar? I'll, I'll kill you if it falls. Okay. <laughs> Feel relaxed. Good evening and what a wonderful evening. Let me crack a joke. Uh, what a lovely evening we're having. Anyway, it's a fantastic act before, fantastic concierge. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and it's going to get better <laughs> after the interval. After the interval. So um, uh, you know, people have seen me on stage before, you know, and they, they said, oh, you know, you already got the talent. You tried my cupcakes, <laughs> or, or you know, you've done this before. Yes, I've done it before. But then my train monkey died. It was a sad loss. But never mind, I got over it. So fantastic. Um, I do not want to talk to you about my research, from modesty. Um, uh, I want to talk to you about uh, academic life and one particular aspect of academic life, uh, which is uh, administration. <laughs> it was meant to be a joke, but thank you very much. It's very good, isn't it? You can have an applause. Administration! <laughs> it very well, thank you. So, um, um, I'm amazed. So, um, um, have you ever, have you ever the impression that uh, uh, you know you go about your academic business uh, and, and sometimes you have the impression that things may be organised that little bit, uh, a little bit more simply than they are, you know? And this is the effect of uh, administration. And, and we academics, uh, I mean, professor in computing, we love, we adore, we adore to malign uh, administrators. You know, if something doesn't work, it's administrators all day, well, of course. Uh, uh, so I have to say, actually, actually they have a job which is as important as ours, obviously. So anybody from uh, an administration department in the audience? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Any fishmonger? Yeah. No? Okay, not because I've got to protect them. So I, I, I appeal to your sense of humor. Be patient with me, please. And tomorrow, do not send me your hitman. <laughs> or fisherman, or, you know, the, the secret fish agent uh, double sturgeon. Mm -hmm. okay, so, sorry, if this was a bad joke, I, I, I admit. Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me give you an example of what I mean by, uh, very quickly, by, um, you know, making procedures a little bit overweight. So I'll take an everyday situation, not an academic one, for simplicity, because we're all clever. Um, uh, buying a fish in a fish shop. Hence the fish monger. So this is a very simple situation. What do you do? You go into the fish shop. Maybe you're the only customer. You're straight, you go straight to the um, to the counter. This fish monger say good morning, good morning. If you have a number D, probably the I I men or something. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad for Italian. So and you know there's this display of fish, of course, and there's a. Uh, um, and I don't know, you know, mussels and cockles and mussels, you know, from Ireland and Moldy Molo and things like that. And then got the fish, you got, I don't know, trout and uh, John Dory, and if you're in Aberdeen, John Doric. <laughs> Another bad joke, sorry. And, uh, somebody understood it, which is. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so and you got, you know, trout and sea bass and sea bream, and, and because we're academic, sometimes also A and B bass and breams, the one who did better in their exams. Uh, I know, I know, you know, I cannot talk only good jokes, you know, you, have to, you started by applauding without jokes. So. Okay, so you buy the fish, uh, you get, I want this fish, okay, here's the fish, here's the money, blah, blah, you go away, that, that's it, right? That couldn't be simpler. So let me try to act for you um, what a fishmonger, an improved fishmonger shop <laughs> would look like if organized by an over-enthusiastic administration department. Okay, so you... <laughs> So you don't laugh at my jokes and you laugh when you're not supposed to laugh. It's very isn't it? Yo, yo. So you get into a fish shop and you're the only customer, suppose. You know, I mean, okay. um, you see a fish you want, let's say a sea bass. Okay, so, um, I would like the sea bass there. And the guy says, uh, you should take a number, sir. <laughs> Why should I take a number? I'm the only customer. I know sir procedures, I'm sorry. Okay. So you go and take a number. And, right. I got the number, could I have the C bus? What number is it, sir? 
<laughs> what does it matter? Well, no, I'm sorry. But, you know, I'm, I'm the only customer. I know, sir. Sorry. Procedures. So. Okay, it's number 38. Can I have the C bus? Um, it's 37 turn, so. <laughs> but I'm the only customer. I'm sorry. I, there's nobody else since. I know, sir. Procedures. Okay. Okay, right. Okay. There's nobody here. Advance the number. I do not know whether I can do that, sir. Let me check. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the checking part, what is it? And then you notice that behind the counter, you now there's this colossal book, okay? Some TV show looks at the entire rules of the U in one place. So there's this book, this book is, is straight out of The Hobbit, right? Leather pages, just colossal thing, dusty, near the fish, hygiene. And this guy, he begins to look, and so he's like, dust, dust. So, okay, number, customer, <laughs> customer, customers, tall customers, thin customers, uh, fat customers, customers from the EU, <laughs> customers from Russia, customers from obscure countries, I do not know what is going on now. Numbers, numbers, uh, numbers, numbers, prime numbers, uh, integer numbers, uh, complex numbers, you know, the base polynomials, uh, <laughs> order equations, making all that. Uh, ah, here it is, yes, advance, uh, yes, I can do that for you, sir. Okay. <laughs> Click. Can I have the sea bus? Ah, oh, certainly, problem. No, no problem, sir. Can you fill in this form? <laughs> Why do I have to fill in a form to buy a fish in a fish shop? This is not a fish job center, right? <laughs> this is a fish shop. I want that fish there, okay? When I employ research assistants or PhD students, I get to sign a form, but then I don't fill it them. I don't put them on ice, and I don't send them by the kilo. <laughs> and what is the form for, anyway? Oh, sorry, for, uh, the, 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 the form establishes officially the day of first employment of the fish. <laughs> I do not want to employ the fish. I want to fucking eat the fish. This is a fish shop. I want to eat the fish, okay? I'm sorry, sir. Um, uh, I apologize. You don't want to employ the fish? No! I do not want to employ the fish. I want to eat the fish. I apologize. In that case, it's this form instead. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop here. So, um, uh, um, uh, I think you get the picture, right? So, um, uh, inspired by this lamentable state of affair, from my point of view, I do not know about the administrators, um, I have, as one does, composed a song, which I would like in the toilet. <laughs> the toilet is a fantastic place to compose because uh, there's concentration. You should see the face of my kids, particularly when they have friends playing with PlayStation. <laughs> What's your dad doing going in the toilet with the guitar? Oh, he's composing it. <laughs> So I compose this song, and which I'm going to share with you. The title of the song, I have to do some rearrangement and housekeeping and all for free. Um, uh, if there's no additional cost to your ticket. Um, um, this song is called I Am The Administrator, and it's best that... What? It's... It wasn't a joke. Um, uh, um, and it's best... Uh, it's best imagined as sung by, I don't know whether you remember, Liza Minelli in Cabaret, you know, Black Newton, Fishnet Stockings. Bor don't imagine me. <laughs> don't get it so Some of you might, you could get it Not everybody else. Okay. So um, uh, just imagine that as I sing. And uh, at this point, I'll get back my guitar, which is undamaged, is it? <laughs> okay. Right? So we had this problem. Oh, sorry, I had this little problem before. <laughs> so I'm abusing of time at the moment. Okay. So you know like it's actually fun that it would just <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, yeah, you can survive. Okay, so here you go. I am the administrator. <laughs> Can you hear? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am the administrator. 
<laughs> My creed is very short. The essence of success are rules, forms, and reports. <laughs> so please don't give me again this tosh of <laughs> and low. That the longer you spend counting your beans, the fewer beans you grow. I am the administrator. You need to tell me now all travels for the next seven years. <laughs> The who, where, why, and how. <laughs> With my many quirky rules, I make this institution divine. <laughs> Do invite collaborators for lunch, but the grants can't pay for wine. <laughs> this is fucking true! I am, and here we come to the areas. I am the administrator. Your life I shall reform. Time sheets in every corner <laughs> for everything afford. <laughs> Thou shalt not be allowed anymore to invite a friend for tea without the green form signed by the Queen. <laughs> it's a punchline. <laughs> and countersigned by me. <laughs>